Incoming transmission. Welcome watchers of Illusion to my castle of confusion once again. It's another retro revival show and what have I got for you today? Have a look at this. Oh yes. Yes, it's a bit of a classic on the Super Nintendo. And it's Batman Returns. And it is completely based on the movie by the, of the same name with Michael Keaton in the lead role. Let's have a quick look at this intro. As you can see, they're really paying attention to the movie here. It's um, a bit of a weird still to have used there, I think. But, um, oh well, never mind. And, um, again, polar bear. What? Why? So many things from the movie they could have used here. And yet they picked the most obscure bits of the movie they could find. They weren't huge emperor penguins, they were just emperor penguins. You s never mind, it's Konami. We can, we can uh, forgive them for that, because they normally do some really cool games. Anyway, here we go, 33 years later. Oh, that was really bad formatting. They couldn't have put approaching on the same line. Peepo! Weird members of the Red Triangle suit. So again, what is it with this formatting? It's horrible. They don't think to put these things on one line. It would have made things so much neater. There they, uh, here we are. Batman returns. I don't know if that's just like um a bit of a strange um conversion of the text or something, but that was really weird. And just when you think the intro's over, no, it carries on. I've got to say, for intros, this is fairly long. I mean, we're not even in the game yet, and we're already at the, about one and a half minutes through, or two minutes. It's a fairly big intro, and I'm, I mean, you can skip it, just to make that clear, you can skip it, but I wanted you guys to have a look at it. Um, it's not bad, but it's, it could have been better. It's quite nice to see the actual stills of the actors in there, which is quite cool. But this text is horrible. I mean, I don't know who actually previewed this, but they, they obviously didn't raise that as a flag. I mean, that, that would have uh, that would have alarm belled me straight away if I was reading that. It's really horrible. No need for it, really. I mean, we don't need the whole history of Batman Returns. Um... We know the movie. If you've seen the movie, you know what it's about anyway. You don't need the game to explain this to you. You just want to get in there and play, which we will be doing very shortly, I promise you. But I wanted you to see this intro because it's it's substandard, really, and it doesn't it doesn't need to be done. I think it's they've tried to be a bit clever with it, and it's just fallen flat on its ass. The bat, the cat, and the penguin. Um, yeah. I mean, that was the tagline, really, wasn't it, from the movies? From the movie, I should say. Um, and here we are. Oh, look, no, I thought I thought we were going into the intro screen there. Nope. That's a horrible shading of Batman as well, isn't it? A bit strange, grey, weird colour. Anyway, let's crack on, and Batman's battle is about to begin. Okay, okay, let's get in the game and have a play, then. 
Batman Returns. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. So there's your title screen. Nothing too impressive, but, you know. Here we go. Here we go. Bat signal, thank you. Here we go. No, Michael Keaton. Here we go. <laughs> really? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hopefully. Oh, oh, am I controlling this? Am I? No. No, I'm not controlling this. Oh, that's a shame. They could have done a real nice little intro on that. Scene 1. Ambush in Gotham Plaza. Alright then. Let's see what this is all about then. Batman Returns on the Super Nintendo. Wow. Okay. Nice big bold sprites. Like that. Let's see. Uh, block. And... Oh yeah. Punch the kids. Um, oh, here we go. Ah, okay. So it's like um, a side-scrolling beat-em-up. Very akin to Final Fight. Obviously done by Capcom. This is uh, Konami. So different but uh, you can see the influence taken very heavily there the standard punch punch grab slam affair is is in place uh, nice to see I was seven lives on Batman no I, I have to admit I don't know what test tubes are but they sound dodgy but uh, here we go um, oh I can throw batarangs great there's they were in the movie weren't they those guys on the bikes ace so there's a bit of consistency there that's good um, but these there's that's a lot of clowns I hate clowns creepy uh, people um, but yeah okay so nice big sprite on Batman oh you can carry them around cool okay um, yeah nice big sprite on Batman uh, really cool actually nice animation on him and uh, nice attack animations too I say this I think heavily influenced by Final Fight I, I really it just it just really reminds me of Mike Hager this guy um, Okay, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get hang of the controls here. Oh, I, oh, I can swing. Okay, so I've got Batarang and I've got the Bat Rope as well, or bat, the uh, grapple hook type thing. And uh, I can swing around the screen with that. Okay, so here we go. Nice scrolling, nice clean scrolling there. I've got a clown with a bazooka, because that happens every day. Ooh, okay. Uh, well, Batman's apparently impervious to um, to rockets. Oh, they can hit each other, brilliant. Uh, that's, that's fun. Okay. Um, yeah, nice attack animations. I think it's it's one of those things where you've got to watch out for both sides of the screen because you can easily get ganked, I think. So let's let's continue playing and see where this leads us anyway. But the sprites are nice. I, I really like this. Um, I just wanted to say, by the way, this isn't in full screen today. I wanted to see if I could uh, put it into PAL. So if you prefer the full screen versions of these games, let me know because this is just a test to see how it works. I mean, this is how, we, this is how it is on a TV. So... I was just wondering if you guys preferred to see it how it originally was, or if you would prefer me to put some sort of background on the sides, or if you just want me to go back to having a nice big full screen picture. Let me know in the comments, guys, because it's um, it's easily rectified for the next review. Uh, let me know, because uh, I'm always interested in your feedback, and I always reply to comments. So there you go. All right, so yeah, you can uh, you can punch, kick, grab, slam. Uh, I think bat if you if you fire your batarang, I think it stuns them. You can fire your bat rope and sort of swing across the screen. Um, oh, that was nice. So you can either throw them or you can headbutt them and go into a combo uh, technique for that. That's quite cool. I like that. Nice backgrounds. Uh, and the scrolling's nice and smooth. And there's the ob obligatory uh, move along, move along. Oh, look at that. There's a devil there. That's really good for the kids to have at Christmas. Aha! That was cool. Okay. Let me see if I can do that again. Um... So grab hold of someone. Oh, that's, oh, that's ace. Okay, so now you can, you can use the scenery. So where a final fight you couldn't actually do this, um, you can actually grab hold of them and throw them up against the walls. That's that's brilliant. I like that. That's that's a clever little uh, um, bit of mechanic there, isn't it? It's a bit different. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm enjoying this. This is this is a really solid beat 'em up. Really solid. Uh, you can see. I, th I did it a few minutes ago where, where he swung his cape around and hit multiple bad guys. That's basically like your get out of jail free card button. Uh, like Mike Hager on um, Final Fight has his spinning lariat. Well, this is his version of that, basically. <clears throat> so he has the big boo maneuver, as I like to call it, on uh, Final Fight. These clowns are big. Oh, that's cool as well. Okay. Um, apparently, I think what happened then, I had two guys either side of me. So I grabbed one guy. And then walked into another guy, and then he just smashed the heads together. Oh, I'm loving this. This is really cool. All right, good job by Konami. But then they haven't really done too many stinkers, quite honestly. Um, lots of things jump out at you from nowhere as well. Those guys on bikes just come out of nowhere. But uh, you know, adds to the uh, difficulty, I suppose. You don't want to set something that's too easy. 
I like that though because it's kind of like Matt, Mike Hager's boo manoeuvre but also he just bringing out the back cape is absolutely brilliant and that happened in the did that happen in the film that come out of a big present anyone let me know oh okay so now we're into a side scrolling section where we just fire batarangs at people mm, that's a bit disappointing that's uh, that breaks up the flow a little bit um, I mean it, it's kind of nice to see what they were trying to go for here but I don't know it, it just doesn't feel as nice as the beat em up bit because you've got infinite batarangs and no real skill here you're just walking along throwing them at them I don't, I don't know the um, again the backgrounds are pretty I like those the scrolling is incredibly smooth but I don't like this um, this side scrolling section at all I, I, this this kind of ruins it a bit for me but I can't complain about much because the graf graphically it's superb animations are absolutely fantastic the sounds of sound effects are, are amazing I mean those big crunchy noises as he slams them into the concrete in the previous uh, section of the game was absolutely brilliant um, but then you expect that from the Super Nintendo anyway I always I always found with the SNES over the Mega Drive that the, the Super Nintendo had better sound, a meatier sound. So when you hit somebody in the face, you got a nice big thud, meaty thud. I'm guessing this is a boss. Oh great, so he's going to knock me on my ass every five seconds. Um, I'm going to wrap up the review very shortly, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the Batman Returns on the SNES. Trust me, I mean, the, the other levels are pretty much like this. It's uh, street level, sideways scroller, street level, sideways scroller. There isn't much variety, but it's fun. And I think if, you, if you're a Batman fan, you're going to like it. If you're a uh, Final Fight fan, you're going to like it. Streets of Rage fan, you're going to like it because it's all within that uh, range. Anyway, so graphically, 4 out of 5. Sound, 4 out of 5. Fun Factor, 4 out of 5. So my final score is as follows. Thanks very much for uh, watching my video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye for now.